Here is a fun Namibia fact. Ooh. Namibia is home to the world's largest population of free roaming cheetahs. Mm, cheetahs. Mm. I like cheetahs. Ah, ah, the position was winning too. Opponent allowed rook f6. I wasn't expecting it. Oh. It's all the fault of the Namib Namibian Cheetos. Oh, such a good position, too. Okay, back to not top 40. Namibia oh, has person? a large population of Cape fur seals. Ooh, banana. Something seals. Wait, seals can have fur? Okay, one staff or gambit. Let's go. I play this opponent. Ah, opponent is not following my new rule. I invented a rule where you have to accept the Stafford Gambit, but not everyone follows it. That's okay. I don't mind the position. Thank you, Pavanine. 99, or Pavo 999. Okay, I've had this structure before. Very often I end up playing f6 and some knight e5 move. Um, maybe in combination with this. Yeah, I still want to play knight e5. Always have to watch out for the potential checks, but um, always have king here. And sometimes it makes sense to play king h8 even uh, if I'm not in check. Just so the king is a bit safer. Twenty-four hours. Question mark. Make sure mm. you drink water. I'm drinking tea water. I hope that's suitable. Again, I don't know if it's going to be 24 hours. I don't want to make any uh, failed promises. So it's a 24 hour long tournament. Like that's a guarantee. The stream, I don't know, but also if I play the full tournament, I'll only have played, am I winning? That's a nice position. If I play the full tournament, I'll have played 23 hours. Because I joined about an hour late. Uh, so this move might be coming. Uh, question is, do I want to commit to f5? Probably not. Just want to shift over. Knight e4, bishop uh, e7. I'll have the opportunity later to play f5. And generally, at least in most endgames, uh, Rook and Bishop is better than Rook and Knight. So, yeah, especially when there's pawns on, on all flanks. Okay, now I have this. Trade off a pair of Rooks. Now I'll go for F5. Oh, my Rook is hanging. Oh. Almost forgot again that knight move, knights move backwards. Namibia fact, they have the highest sand dunes in the world. Mm. Top out at 1,066 feet. Oh, that's kind of impressive. Was not expecting to learn so much about Namibia. But I feel like Chad is more... more instructive than Alexa could ever be. Especially with the fun facts. Hmm, I don't know that one. I know, you never know. Except when you sometimes know. Look at this move. Attacking the... Oh no, my pawn! But then bishop d6. Okay, so let's play e4. I'm going for bishop d6. So I'm following the positional principle. Pawns on light squares. Opposite color of the bishop. I restrict the knight as well. While playing a game of chess in France, Benjamin Franklin took his opponent's king after she inadvertently put it in check. When she said, ah, oh, we don't take kings, so Franklin replied, we do in America. 
Mm. I was expecting something about Namibia there, but that sounds interesting. Okay, I gotta watch my time. I mean, position's nice. Some idea to push. The king really should activate. Yeah, let's bring the king in. If the king's on the light square and the rook's on the dark square, I can never get fort, which is nice. Okay. Rook a1. I mean, there's g5 ideas. G5 almost traps a knight, actually. So if takes, I probably just play g5. Ooh. Okay, let's play g5 anyway. And going for g5 again. Okay, now going for the, the win of the a2 pawn. Rook e3. Okay, let's take this. Time management, but it's looking good. Threatening a, f I missed a fork there. Okay, I want to play rook here. There we go. Oh no! No, it's going to be a draw. No. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> King C2 checkmate. Let's go. Just oh. got off a 17 hour shift. Need to be back in seven hours. Good luck. Also, oh, did you, you want me to do timestamps for this marathon? I oh. have Tuesday, Saturday off in Rose and Toggy in Rose and Toggy. I appreciate the offer. Probably not for this one. I'll probably do like compilation of the best moments. I appreciate that. Thanks so much, Bicycle. Um, wow. So I, I gave a lecture on this exact end game. Let me see if I can find it. It was a St. Louis chess club lecture. Oh, let me see if I can find it. It may have been my first lecture for St. Louis chess club. Just to explain it here, though. Uh, this is a theoretically drawn end endgame. Oh, thanks, McNubbits. Dirty checkmate. So actually, when I uh, when we traded the uh, the rooks, I, I realized this was going to happen. Uh, I knew this was drawn, but I knew there was some chance of still winning. Um, so is this twenty seventeen? This is probably twenty seventeen. So I, sh I share, oh, this is a really cool position though. Um, the other reason to under promote is to avoid stalemate. Because the queen is so powerful, in some cases, if you promote to a queen, it's stalemate. Oh, yeah, promoting to queen doesn't work there. This is a cool position if people want to solve it. Um, ah, it was October, October 8th, 2018. So I guess it was one of my later lectures for the club. Mating idea, it should be an easy draw. Um, we can say a black plays five with mate without, and, um, and this is a draw with uh, without too much trouble. Now, I will say there is one trick in this position. Oh, maybe it I did show it. possible for white to win. Maybe you've seen it before. So there, there is a, a trick in this position. If um, if white plays a move, or let's say it's it's black's move. Let's say black plays here, and okay, let's say black gives away the pawn. Oh, let me fix the with board. A5. Then there's king f7. And this is the one thing black has to be concerned mm. about is, is king f7 with discover checkmate. Um, so black would have to play a move like king to The guy in the G8. video looks exactly like and, you. And um, as long as oh, the king it's doesn't lock into this me. mating idea, it should be an easy draw. But not, not present. Uh, just to demonstrate <laughs> even further, let's say black actually gives away the pawn. 
Um, in this case, let's say king here, here, here. Uh, now let's say bishop c3. Oh, okay, so I did share. Lacks to move. Do you play king h8 or king f8? Yeah, of course, king f8. Um, I've seen this actually happen once in the game, where, where they, the player was just moving back and forth between h8 and g8 and didn't realize this pattern and then just got mated. So mm. you have to be very careful uh, in the situation as black when, uh, when you're given the choice, don't walk into mate. Okay, so that's basically what happened in uh, my previous game. Uh, yeah, this game. Maybe I'll have to maybe just make a compilation or put together like that clip and the game uh, just for YouTube.